once we, Prime Minister, even easy. once we get to a stage where, like what we see around the rest of the world, with much higher vaccination rates and freedom without lockdowns, there's going to be a lot more deaths, just being realistic, than we're facing now. Uh, political leaders, yourself included, have been keen to talk about deaths being unacceptable. Do you think that that's going to change eventually when we accept that COVID is going to rip through a hopefully close to fully vaccinated population? There will be death. There are two durations here. The first one is, is that we need to provide everyone who wants a vaccination Australia with that opportunity and we're on track for that by the end of the year and that puts us despite the challenges we had earlier in the program particularly around the medical advice that was given around AstraZeneca that puts us around about two months and behind where we hope to have been we've been catching up ground on that and that's welcome so there is that element that if you wanted one you could have had one so you've had a conscious decision about whether you've sought to protect yourself from what is a very virulent virus the second part of it is the epidemiology. And what that says, and, and looking at issues of hospitalisation rates and ICU rates and so on for people who are infected. The plan I outlined from National Cabinet has an important transition in step two and step three. And that is we go from suppressing the virus, which is about case numbers, which is why we are having to do what we have to do right now, and that we're always going to have to do at this stage of the pandemic, and moving to a situation where you're focusing on whether the virus is leading to people going to hospital, whether the virus is leading to people sadly losing uh, their lives in a way that would be demonstrably greater than what occurs with other viruses. Of course, there are many viruses, there are many diseases that cause fatality in the community. The issue is getting this virus back to a level where you can treat it the same as other such viruses in the community. And that's really the benchmark. That's the mark you've got to get to. Um, none of us wants to see any, anyone lose their life because of, of, of a, a virus or a ill health. But sadly, that's, that's the truth of mortality. And so what we, our objective is, is to get to that point where we can see COVID in the same way we see other infectious diseases. We're not there yet. And frankly, they're not there yet in other parts of the world. They're not there yet. And, uh, and we'd be kidding ourselves to think we are there or they're there.